please be a pigeon. Please be a pigeon. I can't stand it. The only way that I could numb the pain and get the image of her and her family out of my head is to have a drink. It all seems slightly less messed up then. But I feel like I'm missing out on life. I know I am. It's going by. I'm just literally making it from one day to the next. I'm not spending time with my boy. Or my wife. I just hate them seeing me like this. And Simon's growing up and she's growing distant. I'm gonna push her away if I'm not careful. But I just can't get these thoughts out of my head. You know, hitting a pigeon is bad enough. But the truth is, I knew it wasn't this dumb, sodded pigeon. I saw her jumping in front of my train. But, you know, there was this brief moment where I just thought maybe my eyes had deceived me. Or that, or that she, she'd managed to jump clear of the lines. Or, or that maybe I'd hit her back or something. But, no. 14 she was. 14! Imagine ending your life in that fashion at the age of 14. What have you got to worry about? Until you be, become an adult and you've got a mortgage to pay for and a, a thankless job that no one, you know, that, that no one thanks you for. And then you get a home and by the time you've sorted out the family, there's just, there's just about enough time of maybe 20 minutes to watch this new series on Netflix that everybody's banging on about. Why? Did you have to step in front of this sodding train? I'm sorry.